Hello and welcome. I'm with Dr. Lemnique Weffer. Uh, Dr. Weffer received her BS in Laboratory Animal Science from North Carolina A&T State University in 2009 and her DVM from Tuskegee University in 2013. She completed her laboratory animal medicine residency in the Gulf Coast Consortium postdoctoral veterinary training program and is currently a primate veterinarian at Covens. With a passion for teaching, Dr. Wafer has helped many mentees along the way. Since joining Covens, she has created a necropsy training wet lab for employees. Joined as one of the leaders for training prog uh, program team and has implemented several new ideas to help improve the company. Thank you, Dr. Wafer, for taking uh, time off your busy schedule to do this recording with us uh, for, doc for Doctor's Choice Awards. Uh, let me move on to our first question. First, let me congratulate you, uh, Dr. Wafer, on being the top veterinarian for the month of March 2016. How excited are you to win this uh, title, Doctor? Well, I'm very excited and honored to win this title, especially after all of that sacrifices and obstacles I've had to over, overcome, this is very rewarding to me. You have received uh, great reviews from your peers uh, in the industry, Doctor. Uh, what was your first thought on uh, Doctor's Choice Awards? I thought that Doctor's Choice Awards is a great organization and idea. You know, usually in my field and pretty sure all other medical fields, it's very competitive to try to get to a certain spot in your career. But with Doctor's Choice Awards, I love that, you know, colleagues that you have are able to compliment you instead of, you know, compete with you. So I feel like this is such a great organization and I'm actually happy that you guys have started this. I haven't known about this until I was nominated, but I'm really grateful to be a part of this movement. What made you decide to be a veterinarian doctor? Well, since I was younger, I've had a passion for animals. My first two dogs, Smoker and August, definitely inspired me. I used to be in my red convertible in the backyard, riding to their doghouse to check and make sure they were okay, even though I didn't know how to physically, you know, do physical exams like I do now. But um, I knew I was special. And so from there, I just paid a lot of attention to various animals. And once I realized all of the opportunities in the field of veterinary medicine, I knew that this was the right career for me. What do you think a veterinarian's role is uh, in the community? Well, I believe that a veterinarian's role in the community is to be an advocate and a voice for animals. Unlike humans, we all know that animals can not speak to us verbally, only by behavioral movements. And so I just believe that as a veterinarian, we reach out to the community to provide information on preventative medicine, like heartworm and vaccines that are needed yearly. Um, veterinary medicine is just so diverse that we're able to reach out to so many fields. We have veterinarians in the USDA that helps with you know, detecting animals that might have a zoonotic disease, which is very good because with that, we're also able to help humans. And for me personally in the community, besides being a primate veterinarian, I'm also a contract veterinarian and I do preventative medicine on the side. So that's how I reach out to the community and to talk about dogs and cats and how to protect their animals from certain diseases to save them a lot of money versus waiting and not taking care of them. What would you do if uh, there are obvious signs that an animal you are treating has been abused? Well, it's very important to not assume and jump to conclusions that the person who is bringing the animal is the abuser because sometimes people rescue dogs and they're there to improve the lives of these animals. So I would definitely applaud them and congratulate them. Now, if I believe that an abuser did bring in an animal, which is very unlikely because most abusers do not bring their animals to the vet, I would definitely have a discussion with the owner after treating the animal first because that's my priority. But I would definitely um, investigate on what's going on in the most professional manner. And if all other options are 
you know, not taken from the owner, such as surrendering the animal, then I would definitely call animal control to handle the situation. What is the most difficult situation uh, you've been faced with uh, since you've got into uh, veterinary medicine? And uh, how did you uh, handle it? Well, I think the most difficult situation is when I have to euthanize a patient or an animal. Um, I believe that, you know, it needs to be done so that they're no longer in suffering and in pain. So that's how I handle the situation by just letting myself know that it's okay that you're actually doing something that will help the animal and not harm the animal. Um, in my field of lab animal medicine, we tend to sacrifice animals, but I know it's for the good of human and animal health and medicine. So it makes me feel good that I'm contributing to the community in the world. What are your plans for the future, Doctor? Well, I have a few. I plan to become a diplomat in my specialty of laboratory animal medicine. And I also want to have a nonprofit organization for minorities. I believe that's very important being that there's only 2% of African American veterinarians. And so just being an advocate and a voice for these minorities that are young, like five, 10, 12, just different age ranges. I feel like it's important to let them know that anything is possible as long as you just put your mind to it. So I plan to open that in a few years as well. What do you like to do uh, when you're not working, doctor? Well, when I'm not working, I love to travel. That's my favorite thing to do. I also like to spend time with friends and family and just relax on the beach, which is about 10 minutes away from me. I like to do water sports such as parasailing, jet skiing, and I just like to swim and just relax and just enjoy my me time. So those are a few things that I like to do. I also like to explore different places. I'm very adventurous and I like to try different restaurants. And once again, I love to travel.